What up, what up? Wimbush here. And today I'm excited to take a first look at Mega Scan's Quixel's Trees that just released this morning. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. So first I'm going to get started with the announcement that's on Quixel's blog here. So I'll leave this link down in the comments down below, but you can read here. It gives you all the early access information and it shows you exactly where it is in the marketplace. So I would check out this blog too. It just kind of gives them depth on what's inside the pack and everything, which I'll show you here in a few moments. And it also has some good tutorials up there as well is some screenshots in here and once again i'll leave all these links down in the comments below so make sure you check that out but to get started we have to go to the marketplace this is early access so it's not going to be inside of mega scans bridge this is actually going to be on the marketplace you have to download it and then add it to your project and so this is the marketplace i'll leave this link down below but this is what you're going to be looking for if you just want to search it on your own it's just called mega scans trees if you have an epic games account you just sign in and you'll be able to download it or add it to your project and what i showed you right there that was just actually the website to be able to access it we're going to have to open up the epic games launcher and which i have opened up right here and so to access it we could do it one of two ways you can actually go to the marketplace here and then i would just type in mega scans trees if you didn't already add it with that link that i sent you before and this should be the first one that popped up here so if you added it with the link i sent you before it should already say owned in here so i'm just going to click on this and then from here all you would have to do is add it to your project in which i already have a project opened up but if you don't have it added to your project already you just click on this right here and then you would just select the project that you want to add it to click add the project and it will download it's about eight gigs and so give yourself enough time to download that and get it good to go and then another way to find it once you already own it if you click on library and you scroll down here to vault i already have it selected here but i would just type in trees in here and then it will show up in here as well you just click on it and then it should show up inside the marketplace and again just add the project so once you have it all set up inside of your project and everything now we get into the nitty-gritty we have unreal engine open right now so currently it only works in version 4.25 to 4.27 and so i'm going to be using 4.27 for this demonstration here so once you have your trees downloaded added to your project like i have right here i just have a real simple scene here i just have some landscape nothing too crazy just a gray material simple lighting nothing crazy here but if i come down here into my content browser you see that we have this folder called black outer and this is actually where our mega scans trees are going to be at and so i'm going to double click on this and let me scroll this up so we can see it a little bit better but we're going to be greeted by four folders here in which the first one i want to go into is geometry and then we'll have two folders here one is for a pivot painter and one is for simple win for this demonstration i'm going to go with simple win if you want to see what the differences are between the two which there's not a lot i would suggest going to that quick so 14 minute demonstration that I linked to before and so i'm just going to click on simple win and inside here you can see that we have a variety of different trees in in here and so i'm just going to pick one of these trees maybe this one right here field number two just click and drag it into your scene and there you are so i'm going to hit g on my keyboard just to make sure i don't have my selection on so we can see our tree and if i just scroll around here a little bit you can see that we have a fully functional tree which we haven't had this inside of mega scans for years mostly if you look inside the mega scans library it's a lot of tree stumps and so i was excited once i saw they added this to the library pack because this is exactly what i've been waiting for especially with the news of speed tree being bought by unity i mean this is much welcomed right here i'd rather just stay within the unreal ecosystem and so this is cool and so there's a couple of things that we could do once we have a tree inside of here the coolest thing is we can add the wind modifier so i'm going to come down here into my content browser i'm going to click on content and you'll notice that we have this other folder in here called ms presets so if i double click on this you'll see we have a folder here for ms foliage double click on this and then right here where it says global foliage actor i want to finally click on this one and this is where we're going to find our wind deformer so i'm just going to click and drag this into my scene here if i double click on it in my world outliner just to get a little bit closer we have this really cute looking scene here that has a tree we have a flag here and this is basically how we're going to set up our win so if i click on this and if i scroll over here into our details panel if i come down here right under the transform you can actually see we have some win attributes here in which i could kick up the win to like two and let me actually look at the tree because you can see it move here a little bit and then for win strength i'm actually going to kick this up i can really exaggerate it so we can see so i'm going to click on 10 
now you can see your tree is really moving with the wind i can move the wind noise down to like one something like that and then if i want to kick the wind speed up to 50 you see that it's going completely bonkers there i'm going to bring it maybe back down to two just something really short and simple there and then if we want to move like the direction of the wind all we have to do is click on this modifier here and if i select my rotation tool if i move this around you can see that the wind is actually moving so let me actually exaggerate this a lot more so maybe let me come up no maybe up to 50. so there we go now we can see the tree really moving with the branches and everything so as i move this around you can see that the wind direction of the tree is actually moving as well which is really really cool and simple because i mean it controls all the trees that are in the scene so if i come back here to my content browser come back here to black outer come down to geometry simple wind let me add something else in here so maybe this forest tree right here number six and as you can see the tree is being included within the wind there too which is really cool so i can move the tree around and that's going to affect you know the way that the tree looks but it doesn't affect the wind the wind is always going to be blowing in the same direction no matter how i rotate the tree which is really really cool so i'm going to come back here let me knock my wind strength down a little bit another cool thing that we see here is the season and the health so let me come up here a little bit let me raise our camera up so we can see the leaves a little bit better maybe i can knock down the wind so we don't have to see it moving there we go so now i want to focus on the leaves here so if i come down here to seasonal strength if i start moving this up you can see that we're actually starting to get some fall leaves which is really cool you can raise up the brightness on there which is also cool and then we can actually bring down the health which will make them look a little bit dead so i would just play around with these attributes depending on what you're looking for if you want like a fall season or spring season or summer season that's really cool in itself as well and so now you see i have everything reset it back to default click on health zero and there you go now we just have plain brown leaves which are completely dead so that's pretty cool that they added all these attributes to the trees that didn't only add trees but they gave us a ton of different functionality which is really cool in itself they could have just went out made some static trees throw them in there and called it a day but they added a ton of functionality you know that gives us different variances of the colors of the leaves the wind we could go a lot more in depth in here as well we actually have full control over the materials as well so like if I click on this bark here, you can actually see how we have all the different attributes set up and everything. I'm not going to mess around with these too much, but I'm just showing you all the control that they gave us within the material sets themselves, which is really nice. So if I click on this right here, you can see we have the leaves and everything. You can actually set up like different ones for the leaves if you want. So if I come down here to number 10, we could click on advanced winds. You could change it just for those branches and leaves as itself, but sometimes it looks a little bit funky. So it depends on the scene that you're really going for there. And then what's cool as well is right here under 11, where it says seasons, we actually have a winter function that will take all the leaves off. So if I click on this and then give this a second, you can see, let me hit G on my keyboard. There we go. Now it took all the leaves off the tree. And so we just have a simple dead tree with no leaves. That could be really cool as well. If you wanna make like a dead forest or something like that. I mean, the options are endless here. So I think that's gonna do it for this demonstration. I just wanted to give you a quick look, show you how you get set up, how you can add it to your project file, how you can mess with the wind deformer and how you can set up your trees and everything in here. So from here, as I alluded to before, I would go to Quixel's YouTube channel for that in-depth on what all the attributes do. But hopefully this will get you set on your way for me, the best way to learn is just jump in and get going. So hopefully this helped you guys out. So if you're excited as I am for this new tree pack inside the Mega Scans library, make sure you leave me a comment down below. Show me your creations. Tag me on Instagram, Twitter, or wherever you guys are posting your social media stuff up on. I'd love to see what you guys come up with. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And until next time, stay fresh, keep creating, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. I'll see you soon. Take care. Wimbush here.